Hi guys, Tracy Stunner here. Welcome to another episode of my skincare talks on my YouTube vlog. And today we will be talking about skin bleaching. Yes, you heard right, skin bleaching. Now, for those of you that follow me on Facebook and Instagram, I made a, co- I made a post a couple of weeks ago, about two weeks ago. Um, I saw something that was really a sight in my eyes okay something that i just could not keep to myself and that experience would lead me to or inspire me to make this video on skin bleaching yeah so in that post um i just basically explained what i saw like a a bleaching person a person who obviously was bleaching or who possibly could be bleaching all right so i'm going to post the link on um somewhere around this video okay just check the description part and you're going to see the link to that post so you can go there and read my experiences what i saw how i described it because i put that in details okay now that's about that now we will be going over to um discussing what skin bleaching is the effects of skin bleaching and better skin improvement options okay because you don't have to bleach there are better skin improvement options skin bleaching is a process that happens when a person changes or tries to change their complexion from an originally darker complexion to a totally light one these persons employ the use of harsh or strong bleaching components that ultimately stop melanin production and whitens their skin in a short space of time okay now that's that's a general overview or a a general definition of skin bleaching you you're a naturally dark skinned person and you know you you look at light skinned people and oh my god i want to be light skinned and because of that you go ahead to use strong harsh chemical components that end up turning your very dark skin to oyibo pepe if you're nigerian you should understand this oyibo pepe oyibo pepe is a term they use for someone who is light skinned okay and that is what bleaching skin bleaching can do transform your melanin your your normal original melanin skin into white as in white very light skinned even more than some naturally light people that is what skin bleaching can do to you and i am here to remind you because i know you would have heard this before i am here to remind you that skin bleaching is not the way to go because it has long-term harsh effects on your skin which might not show immediately in some people it could show immediately but for some people it takes time for those results to start manifesting okay one of the effects of skin bleaching is the possible exposure to mercury poisoning now mercury is a content used in really harsh bleaching skincare products that can actually get into your bloodstream when your skin pores absorb these mercury contents in some areas of the world where there is hardly quality control it's important to be careful the kind of skincare products we buy because some manufacturers go to produce fake products maybe based off of a cosmetic line or a skincare line that is already succeeding in the market so they do substandard products or fake products and include mercury in it just so that it can be super fast in turning people's skin from you know dark to completely light and because of this there is the possible exposure to mercury because these cosmetic products can contain mercury without it exactly being stated on the body of that cream or soap or lotion or whatever it is whatever skincare product it is so it's important to be extremely careful when getting skincare products so we don't get something that has mercury in it that can subsequently lead to mercury poisoning other effects of skin bleaching include poor wound healing now when you use bad 
skincare products, especially ones that bleach. It affects your skin's ability to repair itself when it has had injuries, when it comes across cuts and bruises. You know, your skin has this natural collagen and synthesis and systems that helps it heal on time. Other effects of skin bleaching products, using skin bleaching products, will also include uneven spots. That is why you see some people who bleach have, you know, a very light patch here and a very dark patch there. They have um, a very light skin maybe on their face and then you see their neck very black. Or you look at their hands, their knuckles are terribly uneven. You have the harder parts of the knuckles being so black and then the rest being white and then some areas being dry and scaly and uneven. Basically, a skin bleaching agent can give you an uneven complexion. Instead of using bleaching agents, there are actually other better natural improvements of the skin options that you can explore or a person can explore instead of using bleaching agents. Now, these options will allow for the skin to tone out, have an even tone and have a natural glow. Yes, it is possible to achieve a natural glow, a, a, a healthy looking skin without bleaching. And one of those options is skin toning. Now, it's important to differentiate between skin bleaching and skin toning. If you've watched earlier into this video, I defined what skin bleaching is. On the other hand, skin toning is basically an act or a process that allows your skin to even out, to have an even complexion, especially if that person has been exposed to to, to the sun a lot and as such as had dark patches here and there skin toning allows that person achieve an overall blend of their skin without it looking like you know one part is being bleached and the other is not you know responding to the bleaching so skin toning basically is achieving an overall even skin tone if you're looking to achieve an even tone you need to look out for natural products that enhance skin tone evening like products natural essential oils and products that allow your skin even out and have a natural glow you can also try eating healthy that actually works go for carrots go for tomatoes go for fruit salads vegetable salads because the greens and especially for tomatoes and carrots there, there there is an element a content in it that gives the skin a natural glow beta carotene beta carotene is contained in carrots and that actually gives um that is actually what gives the carrots its color and it can also be used to improve the skin's outlook that is why some beauticians will recommend that you use carrots or you look at some cosmetic products they contain carrots because they use this because of the effectiveness of the carotene so for tomatoes they contain an element called licorice now licorice is also an element that can help improve the skin's tone and give the skin a natural glow so put all of this into consideration when you are planning to go on a toning journey and these will actually help you achieve a balanced, even, natural, glow skin tone. And now I have come to the end of my video. It's been lovely dishing out knowledge from my end. Please subscribe to my channel. Give this video a thumbs up. Do share your thoughts in the comment section and share this video if you care. I will see you next time in my next video. Bye.